Hey guys, today we're going to be breaking down the ABC News uh, Good Morning America iPhone 12 hands-on. It provides some more details than what we already knew. Let's jump into it. Now to Apple's big announcement, their new 5G smartphone lineup is here and just in time for the holidays. ABC's very own Becky Worley is one of the first to get her hands on that new phone. So Becky, thank you. So as you just heard, they put an emphasis on 5G. It's kind of interesting because a lot of people don't really care about 5G, which leads me to believe that Apple told them to talk about the 5G. But now we're going to get to Becky, who has the hands on for being with us. Big headline, faster data downloads, but we will talk about the inner workings of the phone. We want to know what the bells and whistles are, though. What are we going to see that's different? The fun stuff, right, Amy? Well, first, blue is the theme for these new colors. Uh, this one is sort of an azure blue. This one, a little bit more metallic in what they're calling Pacific blue. Um, a few little fun things, accessories. It now has a magnet right back here. So this is a wallet for your credit card. You can just put that right on there and it snaps on and it's good to go. You can put your credit card, your ID in there and then take it off if you don't want that there. That's kind of fun. All right, so Becky just referred to the iPhones as an azure blue and a dark blue. Um, this is about our like first like real person holding them, you know, without crazy editing. It's kind of cool to see them. She has the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12. One thing that was notable about this, other than just having them, she had the wallet, which is told to ha come out at a later date, which is really interesting because a lot of people would assume that it's not done or ready to ship out to media. But um, from the build quality of the wallet, it just doesn't look that nice, you know, because you kind of, it sounds cheap, right? But uh, this is not the final project, so we can only hope that it gets better. Okay, let's go back to Becky. There are four different models with the Mini, a 5.4-inch screen starting at $699 all the way up to a 6.7-inch Pro Max screen. That's well over $1,000. The edges are a little more squared off than the rounded iPhone 11. It has new shatter protection. It's what they call ceramic shield. Four times more protection if you drop it. And I'm telling you right now, I cannot wait to taste test that out in real life. I'll be dropping them off of a the roof or something somewhere. <laughs> hey, all of that you just said, I was just talking to Roebuck earlier. She said, no, nah, I don't need a new phone. Then when you said magnet, she lit up. <laughs> the magnet got her. You sold her on the magnet. All right, so she just goes over some information that we already know about the iPhone. But... She talks about how you know, YouTubers are going to drop test it and everything. I'm not, because I'm going to get one, but, you know, for goddamn sure, no one has enough money to drop test one of those things. Poof, that would be insane. But, um, the most interesting part about this part was that, um, she talks about how someone got sold from the magnets, or he does. But that kind of came on weird, right? Because when I watched the presentation, I was like, oh, cool. Magnets. I wasn't exactly thinking, oh my god, he has magnets? Like some Scott the Walls thing. But, um, I guess for the average consumer, and someone who really doesn't know about the tech stuff, magnets is a big selling point. So, back to Becky. Uh, but Becky, tell us, um, the last version, that was a big deal about the camera. So, could they really improve the camera that much this time around? Yeah, this is actually pretty exciting, especially for photo buffs. Uh, big focus hardware and software to help the camera process low light situations better. So night mode time lapse, night mode portraits without a flash. And this is important, better night mode selfies. <laughs> <laughs> now, TJ's her. excited. Oh. TJ's <laughs> eyes just lit up when you said the nighttime <laughs> selfie, so I think he's sold now, too. You beat me to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Something I for did. everyone. Uh, all right, we want to talk a little bit about the faster downloads, the 5G network now. Uh, the, we should point out, though, Android phones have had this capability for some time now, correct? This is a classic move from Apple, Amy. They don't always be, want to be first to a new technology. They want it to settle, and they come in when they think it's ready. So let's talk about 5G. Yes, Android phones have it. 
Not all 5G is super fast, but in ideal conditions, Apple says it got download speeds of up to three and a half gigabits per second. That's seven times faster than my home Wi-Fi. Um, coverage is going to be more reliable at things like concerts and ball games. And 5G is coming. So, you know, the new iPhone 12 has the 5G built right into it. And I think it's really important because you don't necessarily need it, but it's a smart way to future-proof your yourself, especially if you only buy a phone every three or four years, right? Well, that is a good point you make. And something else that... Uh oh, wow, so that was pretty interesting. So the person on the left, she talked about how Android phones have already had 5G. I thought that was a little funny, right? They just kind of talked about things we already knew. And then she talks about how Apple... Like, a lot of people already said this, except it's kind of interesting that a news host would say it. So, Apple is not the first to the party, but when they do show up to the party, ooh, they come, they come blazing strong. Okay, that's a little, uh, but they do, they do come in pretty hard at the party. So, and then the guy on the left, he talks about how it's future-proofing, which is totally true. Because the millimeter wave 5G might not be essential at all right now, but it will in the future. Let's cut back to Becky. I think that's her name. Uh, folks, Becky, you were talking about this morning. A lot of people are going to be talking about. You spoke with Cayenne Drans, VP of iPhone Product Marketing. You asked about this little thing here, that they are not giving you chargers or earbuds with the iPhones. I cannot wait to see how they answered this. Let's listen. Do you worry that consumers would say, geez, I'm paying 700 bucks for this phone and I don't get a power plug and headphones? Well, there is so much in the phone already. Um, and so there's a lot of amazing reasons um, and we think it's a great price for all of that. But for the other reasons I mentioned, you know, people often already have all that and it's it's sitting around in their house. They have maybe, they have multiple ones of that. And so it was kind of not the right thing to do in terms of the larger environmental goals and the, and the larger benefits to the environment. Becky. She, she makes a good point. Apple has hugely ambitious environmental goals, and this is one way they can reduce their carbon footprint. But they are putting a faster charging cord, a USB-C cord, mm. into the box with the new phone. So maybe that's a trade-off, guys. All right, you just have to have the box, but you get the new cord. All right, you're not having it. I'm not hearing <laughs> y'all at all right now. I will say I have a lot of extra earbuds <laughs> laying around the house because I'm an AirPod girl. Hook me up, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring them in tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much, Becky Worley. We appreciate it. All right, so this part was pretty interesting. In the ending segment, they talk about how most people already have them. And uh, obviously, one of these people, uh, I don't know his name because I don't watch ABC, but he was kind of a, uh, he didn't seem too happy about it. But like most of the internet, we're obviously going to adapt to it. And then Samsung and all the other Android manufacturers are slowly going to start phasing them out too. Because once Apple does it, everybody can take away the headphone check. But Really? They just kind of talk about the same thing we already know. They bring on one of the people, the vice president of, I think, marketing? Let me check here. Um, yeah, iPhone marketing, vice president. Uh, I'm pretty sure she was actually at the thing. But um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or you found any of the content useful, it really helped out if you liked, commented, and subscribed. Um, stay tuned for maybe an iPhone 12 unboxing day one. I don't know, maybe. And have a great, I mean, amazing day.